this is Carmen, 30 years old. This is Jose, 23 years old. And this is Imelda, 60 years old. Approximately 1,770,000 students were homeschooled in the years 2011 and 2012, according to Community for Accredited Online Schools. This method was first introduced in the 1970s by John Holt and Raymond Moore. This topic came up to be of my interest because of one of my very good friends who was homeschooled her entire life. Seeing how successful she was made me want to be homeschooled myself. By homeschooling your children, you can customize their education needs, you can interact more with the children, as well as reducing the risks of them being bullied throughout school. So I will, in addition, I will begin explaining how customizing children's education can occur. So you can cater the individual by going subject to subject. So by this I mean you can spend more time in one subject and then move on to the other, or you can spend less time of a subject and then move on to the other. So whichever subject you are the strongest in, you might not want to spend that much time on. And you can also learn at your own pace and start a college career. By going at your own pace, according to an article written on PBS.org named Homeschooling, an overview written by Bridget Ben Sizer, it explains where a son began homeschooling, and it states that it allowed him to move at his natural pace, just as I mentioned before. And you can start your college career by finishing off the homeschooling curriculum as soon as you can. So you can start college as early as your freshman year. In addition to this, I will explain how it, patients can interact with more with their children. So you can spend more time with them, a, you can have a one-on-one -on -one ratio, and parents, in order to do this, can be adequately trained. So an article published on Community for Accredited Online Schools states that these programs allow parents to maximize individualized instruction and support. So with that one-on-one -on -one ratio, you can have the parent with you as much time as needed and you won't have to worry about other children asking questions or disturbing the classroom setting. And you can spend more time with them so you can travel or you can simply be home depending on what y'all have to do as a family. And by adequately trained, I mean if the parent has children with disabilities and they need more attention, who else to care better for that child than the own parent? because as we know, in some schools, not all teachers are ready to deal with these kind of children who are normal just like us, but sometimes need that little extra push. Furthermore, I will explain how parents can reduce the risk of bullying. So bullying can, increase, can prevent the children from having a low self-esteem and from them being feeling like an outsider or even reducing the risks of suicide. So on June 25th, 2018, article on internationalschooling.org states that 65% of bullied students say that bullying damaged their self-confidence. So imagine what this bullying is doing to the children and why not have the parents just homeschool their children and prevent all that from occurring. And if a family likes to travel a lot, as we said on the previous slide, then they would not feel like an outsider as they move from place to place. They wouldn't feel like an outsider. They wouldn't feel somebody judging them since they, get, like, they don't know them enough yet. And it would reduce the risks of suicide because they wouldn't have anybody bullying them or anybody telling them something rude at school or throughout school. So in conclusion, throughout this entire presentation, we saw how homeschooling can lead to a customized education, how parents can interact more with the children, and how you can reduce the risk of the student being bullied. So we have to be more aware of its benefits and how parents should start considering homeschooling because of what it has to offer.